I'm Candy Corn. I said I'm Candy Corn. I said I'm Candy Corn. Candy up! <laughs> well, it seems I'm going out this alone. Well, I'm Candy Corn, and I'd like to welcome you to the Candy Corn and Candy Apple Show. Well, I guess right now it's the Candy Corn Show. Today I will be teaching you many of the subjects that interested me while I was in school. This includes math, science, social studies, music, and English. My partner Candy Apple would be helping me, but it seems he has a stage fright. Please be patient with me as I will be multitasking without my partner. First, we'll start off with band. I played the flute in band while CA played the tuba. Ah! Got you! So you decided to join us, eh? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Is that a camera? Now you've done it. Fix the camera immediately. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Well, I'm Candy Apple. I'm a lot more fun than this load of Halloween improv candy. Ahem! Many people actually enjoy the taste of candy corn. Sure, whatever. Now then, where was I? Ah, yes, music. We will be evaluating a classical waltz. Listen for the different sections and when they come in. Let me try! Perhaps we should start off with an, um, easier topic. Let's delve into the topic of a measure in music. I know, here! Apple, that's the wrong kind of measure. You were in band, weren't you? Was that the class I blew into that oversized hunk of metal? Uh, yeah. That class was boring. I was always yelled at for playing wrong notes and not counting, or something like that. Well, and that kind of defeats the purpose of me having a helper to teach if you don't know how to play, or conduct, for that matter, music. Oh, I'm here helping you teach? Yes, what did you think you were here for? All I remember is being found with donuts. Well, you're here now, so you have to help me teach. Uh, well, can we at least go to a different subject? I guess we could. Oh, oh, let's go to geometry! Ah, the study of two-dimensional and three-dimensional figures on a plane of points. Coplanar, collinear, not. The representation of spaces on graphs. A good choice indeed, my dim-witted friend. What the heck are you talking about? I want to do geometry. That is geometry. No, it's not. Geometry is what you see on the globe. That would be geography. I don't want to study fossils. I want to teach about the land. I want I want I want to. Fine, we'll go to geography. No! I want to do geometry! Looks <laughs> 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 like I'm teaching alone. Again. Well, anyway, let's start off with the continents. <laughs> there are seven now. This one is North America, this one is South America, this one is Australia, this one is Africa, this one is Asia, and this one is Europe. Now for oceans. In fact, this ocean has something special about it. It's with the ocean that... I know! I know! That's the ocean that Christopher Columbus flew over and mysteriously vanished, never to be seen again. I think you're confusing Christopher Columbus with Amelia Earhart. No, I know what I'm talking about, but you don't. You call this island Australia. Everyone knows that it's kangaroo land, and you forgot penguin land. One, it is Australia, and two, if you mean Antarctica, it's not populated for us to teach about it. But we have to teach about it. After all, Santa lives there. If we don't teach about his homeland, then he'll be mad at us, and he won't give us gifts this year. I'm sorry, Santa. We are not teaching about it, and that's final. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. You know what? My name comes first in the title, so we teach what I want. Oh, yeah! Ha! Fine, you're the teacher. Teach the next subject. 
uh, I guess we'll go to, uh, science, I guess. Now then, let's, uh, do the periodic table, I guess. You mean periodic? Yeah, that. I'll list them to you in order. Uh, water, fire, ice, wind, ground, cloud, air, soil, uh, let's go with rocks. No, 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 you haven't gotten one symbol right. So, I'd like to see you do any better. If I must. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, calcium, scandium, titanium, vanadium, and carbonium, and- Stop, 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 I can't stand it! But perhaps we should proceed to the next subject. That sounds good. What do you say that we head on to English? I didn't say that. You did. Right. Well, let's just do English. Let's talk books. 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 Are those the things you buy from the store? Well, I would assume so. Oh, books! I know what they are! They're those things! If you're meeting those things full of literature and fine arts that delve deep within the reader's minds to make them delve deep within their own imagination, then yes, those are books. No, I was thinking of those rectangles full of words and pictures. Those are... Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just talk about those. Finally, I'm right for once. Yes, indeed. Now, one great read that I have personally enjoyed is Sherlock Holmes' The Hound of the Baskervilles. That sounds boring. How about Cat in the Hat? You mean the kindergarten-level rhyming picture book written by a fake doctor? Yeah. Wait, are we talking about the same cat and the same hat? Ugh. Well, before you jump to conclusions, how about I read a passage from the book to you? Of the origin of the Hound of Baskervilles, there have been many statements. Yet, as I come in direct line from the Hound of Baskervilles, as I have a story from my father, who also has a I have set it down with all belief that it is very decent as it here is And I would have you believe, my son, that the same justice which punishes sin may also be the creation of the end. Well, excuse me, is there a reason for your sleeping at my feet? I don't know. The last thing I remember is the periodic table. Then my mind goes blank. You really do have a short attention span, don't you? Sorry, what were you saying? My point proven. Now then, since I have read a passage from my favorite book, why don't you read a passage from your favorite book? And not Cat in the Hat. Hmm. A book that isn't Cat in the Hat. I got it! Hop, pop. We like to hop. We like to hop on top of Pop. Stop! You must not hop on Pop. You! What? Forget it. Let's talk about writing techniques. First you make me read, now you're making me write? What is wrong with you? Right now, you. Oh, that was just mean. So is your constant interrupting. Now then, a good writer obviously starts at the beginning. But thinking of ideas can be one of the hardest parts of writing. Now, C.A., how do you come up with ideas? I usually get a big bowl of ice cream, turn my TV on, and crank the volume all the way up in my stereo. Then after a half an hour, I get on the internet and copy someone else's idea. You know that's illegal, right? It may be illegal, but at least I can't go to jail for it. You do know what illegal means, don't you? Illegal. Adjective meaning against and not allowed by the law. Prohibited. Synonyms of unlawful. Banned. Forbidden. Prohibited. And criminal. Antonym of legal. Where was your brain five minutes ago? Oh, I don't know. I usually have one smart outlet burst like that a day. <laughs> Figures. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Right. Now, can you finish the show up already? I'm tired. But you already dozed off. How could you be tired? <clears throat> Do I need a reason? You disturb me. But if you really were ready to end this, then we'll finish it up with math. Aw, oh, darn. I forgot my calculator. Too bad. Time to go home. <laughs> nice try, but I have a calculator right here. Now you're staying until we're done with math. To be more precise, geometry. Geometry? Haven't we already done that? As I said, that was geography. No, geography is the study of fossils, remember? Don't start that again. Now then, geometry. Let us delve into the mysteries of quadrilaterals. Can we study squares instead? It'll go faster. Squares are quadrilaterals. Can I go home now? You really annoy me. I know you do, but what do I, uh, do? <laughs> Great comeback. I know it was, but what am I? Okay, obviously we won't get any work done with you being tired. I guess that's the end of our show. What? 
We're done? No, I was having so much fun. I'm not. Well, I don't care about you. I want to stay and teach. <laughs> but you were just complaining about not being able to go home and... Oh, whatever. Well, I'm Candy Corn. And I'm Candy Apple. I hope you enjoyed learning from us. See you next time. <laughs>